This is a 1947 Royal Upright. It's a KMM uh, series. Uh, for those of you that know a little bit about Royals, you'll know what that means. But I'm going to show you around uh, a Royal Upright and then do a typing demo for this particular one, which is um, can be found on our Etsy shop. Um, but we, I really enjoy these kind of typewriters. They're big, they're heavy, they are not portable. So you're going to want to pay attention to the dimensions because if you purchase one, you need to make sure it's going to fit in the space that you have and that you have a sturdy table because they are heavy. And, uh, the least amount of shipping as possible on one of these things would be great because a lot of care goes into shipping one. Alrighty, let me show you around. So, first of all, carriage release are these little flat metal levers right here. And I have the margin set, so I'm going to do margin release, and then you can see it already over here. So these have what's called a magic margin, and I'm going to show you how to set it. So um, right now I have it set to the left side and to release it, pop it forward, pull down your carriage, and now you can move it holding the carriage release. All right. And so now you can set it wherever you want. So let's set it here and you pop it back. All right. And do the same thing for the right margin. And I think I'm actually going to bring in the margin just a little bit and I set it there. Okay. Um, this is your paper release down here and then right here on these levers that are up here, this is going to be your um, ribbon reversal and we'll open up and take a look at that. I think this one, I'm not entirely sure. Sometimes your carriage or your ribbon might get um, caught up. I've seen it in other typewriters and you kind of hit that as like a little re reset. But it has something to do with resetting the ribbon. Over here is your color selector. It's on red right now. We can switch it to black. This, I believe, used to release the top based on where it is inside, but it no longer works. So you just pop the top open. And you'll see that the original um, spools are in this particular typewriter. So if you want new ribbon, uh, these look bigger than a universal ribbon. I haven't measured them. A universal ribbon has a two inch spool on it. These look just a little bit bigger. So you're probably going to just want to hand wind fresh ribbon on this, which we have done for this typewriter. And if you need us to hand wind uh, a, one of your metal spools, please send it to us. We do it for $6.95 and then we'll ship it back to you. Alrighty, so... Um, Make sure the black is on the top, red is on the bottom when you do change out your ribbon and that you pay attention to how it is threaded through the metal guides. You should be able to use your ribbon for a long time. That's why there's a ribbon reversal. You go to one end, reverse the direction, and just keep going back and forth. Alrighty, let us do some typing and see how it does. I actually had one of these for a while and I use them for crafts. Normally I recommend a um, electric typewriter, but um, I really liked how it worked. So I made like cards that I could hand out and so I would type quotes on cards and I used um, a Royal Upright for it and it worked out great. It easily handled thick, really thick cardstock. This has the image original metal, I'm sorry, glass and metal keys on it. And you'll see that it is does not have a number one, so you use the lowercase l. This has a small font, smaller than um, what I normally see. I think it's smaller than B12 even. 
Um, let's do the shift lock. Which means this might be really great for um, manuscript writers, novelists, because you can get a lot more characters per line and per page. This is definitely great for nostalgic purposes, but also functional. Let's do the backspace. There we go. What a nice sounding bell. All right, let's try the red ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful machine um, in terms of, um, man, it just, they're fabulous. They're great collector items. This one still works. If you can find one that works, grab onto it because Royal is a good typewriter. These uprights are good typewriters. They're going to last a long time. Obviously, they've already proven that. Um, the keys are beautiful. Please don't cut the keys off of these unless it's just totally beyond helping the typewriter but it makes me so sad to see people cutting these keys off and turning them into jewelry because these are beautiful machines and many of them can be restored um but if you want to see more about this particular typewriter please visit the link in the comments below also just visit our etsy shop see what we have available right now and if you have one of these we'd love to know about it what how do you use yours? Is it for decoration or do you actually type on it? And um, we'd love to see pictures of it as well. Also, we have seen people use these, especially these uprights for weddings or for um, decor. If they're not going to type on them, then they like put flowers and all kinds of stuff around them. So the upright is just when people think of vintage typewriters or old typewriters, it's usually this black upright that they think of. So a lot of things you can do with this, but it is functional, great for those who want to use it for their writing projects. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.